Hello everyone, welcome to ROG GrowTech. Uh, this channel is a branch off channel from my original one called Rose of Green. Um, I started this channel just so I could become monetized. Uh, it's also where I will do my light reviews. Um, I will do reviews of other grow equipment as well. And it will be a backup channel just in case something happens to uh, my other main channel because uh, it is cannabis uh, friendly. So, um, as I told you guys before in other videos, we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways on this channel. So this here, I'm going to be giving away two of these. So uh, what you need to do is down below in the comments, comment giveaway. You could uh, only enter once, so only comment giveaway once. You could leave other comments if you want, but only have one comment that says giveaway. Uh, I hope that is clear enough for you to understand. Uh, if you do it incorrectly, I'm sorry you're disqualified. If I see that you made uh, two comments with a giveaway in it, you will be disqualified as well. So we got to play fair, guys. Uh, there's going to be two of these to give away uh, anywhere in the world. I'll pay the shipping. But uh, anyway, I wanted to uh, start off with telling you this giveaway ends on July 7th. 2021 so if you're watching this video after july 7th 2021 do not enter the giveaway you could still comment below but uh the giveaway will be over at that time so this is the flex star 240 watt dimmable uh, they reached out to me uh they're pretty happy with their light they have bar lighting as well um i was gonna do a review on the on their bar lighting but uh, it's like uh, 52 inches. It's just a little bit too big for a 4x4 space. So this is what they offer for uh, 4x4 spaces and 2x4 spaces. So uh, they say a couple of these will be good in a 4x4 space. So let's get started with what's in the box. <clears throat> First off, we'll start off here with a user manual, Flexstar. Uh, it tells you it's a 240 watt. Uh, it's got, uh, I already read some of this, it's got three year warranty. Uh, it does not cover wa water damage or anything. Um, you have a 30 day instant uh, guarantee money back. If anything happens, uh, you could find them at uh, flexstar.com. I'll put the, the links down in the description. Also uh, another website, sinowell.com. So uh, I noticed that Flexstar, dot com is down right now it will probably be fixed by the time this video comes out but anyway let's get started uh, on the on the back of their manual they tell you their recommended hang distances for uh germination seedling veg and flower uh 12 to 18 inches in flower so we'll probably hang this light at about 18 inches while we do the par test and uh i will also use my upper tech uh spectrum meter and we will do the color rendering index of uh, that along with uh, the correlated color temperature and the spectrum so uh, anyway enough babbling I'll open this up uh, looks like it comes packaged pretty well uh, we're trying to save space <clears throat> I'm gonna open this one here first we'll see what comes in this box okay so we've got our power cable uh our ethernet cables or our phone cord cables the ones that you use to daisy chain for dimming uh it's not a power cable it's just a dimming cable uh, this looks like one of the plugs that you use to do the daisy chain uh, this is just a space saver i think just another box just to take up some room yeah totally empty course we're getting a lot of these in our packages nowadays for moisture and there we go so this is our flex star led grow light looks pretty nice it does not tell you what kind of diodes they use but i can tell you that they look a little bit like samsung's but they might not be Actually, they don't really look like Samsung's. They have the square to them, but they don't really, uh, I can see the solder through them. So anyway, 
It's got a dimmer on it. Uh, it goes from 40% uh, all the way up to 100%. And we will find out if we can turn it off at the time of hanging. Uh, it's got a padding over it. I'm not sure what type of driver is in it. But uh, let's go. We will hang this unit in a 2x4. See how it does in a 2x4. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so first I thought I would plug it in and we'll try out the dimmer, see how it goes. So it dims all the way up to 100 and it does have an off switch right there. Back to 100 and we'll dim it back down to 40%. So uh, from my understanding, these are 3000 and 5000K LEDs and then you got your 660 reds added in. So let's hang this unit and uh, see how it does. All right, here we are. So we have this unit hung. She's in here and I hung it at 18 inches. I'll show you that now. I don't know if you guys could see that, but we're at 18 inches. Uh, we will check out our wattage I'm over here. And our wattage, it's pulling 220 watts. Uh, it says it's supposed to pull 240. I don't know if there's a way to mess with that driver if you take the cover off, but uh, I do not recommend that you do. So uh, it's a 220 watt out of the wall. And uh, now we will get on with the power testing. Right now I have it cranked at 100%. Uh, we will start our power testing at that. All right, here we are. So I'm not sure if you guys can read that very well, but it's 950 PPFD dead center. Uh, this is with uh, it at 100%, 18 inches. Uh, off to the far side, this is a 2x4 tent. We're at 750, that's perfect. Um, if I put this in a 4x4, I would put these lights about uh, 6 inches apart. We would have uh, good PPFD in the center and uh, it would cover side to side so far. So I bring it in to this side, same thing, about 800. Uh, I'm going to bring it over to the far corner and we're at 575 so sorry that's uh, the side I'm off to the side uh, I'll bring it up into the corner it's at 490 500 so it somewhat drops off a little bit but that's still all right if I bring it in um, off the edge of the light we're at 700 and I'm off the edge of the light about uh, three inches. So um, about three inches from the side, we're at uh, 600. So really I could raise this light up to 20 inches and we could probably get about uh, 650 off the side probably. I uh, bring it back down over to this corner and we're at 536 and over in this corner, 554 and uh, we'll go back to the center and we're at about 950 again so uh, overall this light would be good for uh, it would be good for a 2x4 uh, I would hang it a little bit higher probably like 20 inches uh, then I would just it would be at probably about uh, 850 ppfd and uh, that would be perfect for a 2x4 um, in a 4x4 side by side they would be all right as well but uh, you will lose a little bit once you get far off to the edges. But anyway, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this upper tech. This is a, a PAR 200 meter. It's a spectrum PAR meter. Uh, it reads your spectrum, uh, your color, uh, temperature of your light, and uh, everything else. So it's a pretty cool little tool. I'm gonna set this up and uh, we'll take some readings. All right, here we are. So you can see this unit here. That's the PAR 200. And uh, this is the app that it runs on. I got it on my iPad Pro right here. Uh, and like I said, it's the PAR 200. So what I wanna do is if I wanna read uh, the spectrum, I go to spectrum and then I hit this little button down here. Takes your measurement. And then it shows you your spectrum so you can see it's high uh, high in the blues and high is high in the reds uh, it's actually pretty nice we're gonna come back out uh, let's see what our uh, 
we'll see what our uh, uh, correlated color temperature is almost 4000 K uh, it's 3900 K so if I go back out and we could look at our CRI that's our color rendering index uh, they say it's 90 I bet you it's about 86 89 so yeah they're close it's 89 uh, that's very good and then uh, we will see if we could get our uh, our basic reading so we're reading uh, 901 ppfd uh, these are our greens we got 374 in our greens um, we have 1.3 uh, uv our blues is uh, 162 our far red is 26 and our red is 364 um, so overall it looks like uh, it's a pretty good light it's got a good spectrum we're gonna go back to the home button and uh, with this here I could uh, save this now as I have my other ones in here and uh, all I need to do is enter in what this was so anyway I'm gonna back out of this uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember if you want to have a chance of winning you need to be subscribed to this channel. You need to be subscribed to my other one, Rose of Green. And uh, leave your comment down below, giveaway. Uh, remember, there's no cheating. I will be giving two of these away anywhere in the world. So uh, good luck, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, share this wherever you want. Peace out.